Hey y'all, it's Gord and the Cookie, and we're here to update you on everything. Let me put this weirdo down, and then I'll talk to you. Yeah, I know. I'm back. You can see I have my teeth in. My mouth is a bit swollen. It'll always stick out a little more now because of the denture. So... I'll get used to it. I hope you do. I'm very self-conscious right now. My voice, I can't speak all that well because my tongue doesn't move around in here very well yet. And talking is pain. Cheers. <sighs> hard to swallow. Very hard to swallow. But friends... I want to give you the uptick of all this, then I'll go, because there is some down ticks, but I don't want to be a depressed person or a depressive person. I, there's a lot of good came out of this. Whew. My first quote on this denture was 1700 bucks. I got it done for 1250 My first quote for everything was 7700 Anyways, when I went to Bridgeline Crossing Dental, which I do highly recommend, I, they are advocates for a better dental program. They are wonderful people. And they first said, well, you know, it's going to be about $3,500. But if we do this, this, and that, can get down to 27 maybe 25 and so I said okay I mean I had to then I paid the bill yesterday we had a couple of really troubled teeth that took a while to come out and the ones in the front just came out beautiful but we were a couple hours and uh, the bill came to 1700 these people are wonderful I wanted to cry but I just I was dried out uh, amazing amazing 1700 so I have a little money left over to worry about the one um, wisdom tooth see it's not very smart or at least the person that the tooth is in I still have to do that and I have a week of rest and, and recovery. And then I go in and talk to them about when we do it and how we do it and how much it'll cost. I need this coffee. I do think I took my last opioid for pain this morning. I'm, I'm pretty hurtful, but I think I can live through it. And it is on a steady improve yesterday no way I could talk to you no way at all and some of this almost comes out like like I'm normal I I would love it if getting teeth made me normal huh all of a sudden I'm all cleaned up no beard shaved uh, short hair tie no that's not normal normal is whatever you are but bottom line, I have some recovery. A couple of days of recovery. It's supposed to be my weekend with Pasha. But his mother has been very kind to take him and give him a good fun weekend. Because no way I, I could do so. Uh, after I finish talking to you guys and posting this, I will be laying down on the couch and just doing my best to make it through. In the past 48 hours, I have had a half a bowl of cream of celery soup. I do think around noon I may have more soup. Maybe a, a scrambled egg. I'll have something. But my appetite is really diminished because of this pain. I probably should have bought some of those protein shakes. Uh, breakfast milkshakes I really should have and I didn't but I gotta tell you even though right now it's a lot of pain it is nice 
to smile and have a full set of teeth that people would not know were not real. It's going to take a while, some adjustments on how these fit. They're going to need to be cut down a little bit. They hurt a lot in the tongue. They're kind of sharp under there. That needs resolved. Today at 9, today at 10, it's about 8 a.m. Today at 10 is when, for the first time, I take them out. And they say, hey, be careful, be ready. It's going to bleed a lot. I still taste blood. Something like six or seven stitches along here. Two stitches back there and a couple up front. I, what was I saying? I don't know. But I, today is just a recovery day. And I'm hoping, yeah, okay, at 10 o'clock I take them out, I wash them, I put them back in, and then they stay. But tonight, I finally get to go to sleep without teeth in. If you haven't had dentures, you don't sleep with your dentures in. They tend to get loose and difficult, and it's hard to breathe, and it's hard to sleep. But tonight I had to sleep with both upper and lower in, and it was really tough. I did sleep thanks to a CBD patch on my back, a bunch of CBD just before I went to bed, and I will admit this opioid painkiller. I have taken four, and I think that's it. I do think that's it. I've got like 30 or 40, but I don't want that shit in me. I want, oh, jeez, I swore. I hope this doesn't get demonetized. Friends, this is probably enough. My stomach really hurts. And I've got one hell of a migraine. Might be from all of this. Especially my neck. My neck is the worst part of my body. I broke it when I was 30 in a horrible accident. And I never fully recovered. And now that life has settled in in the old age. And I've got arthritis back here. The arthritis is sneaking into there. And so that can cause it too. So the rest of this day is hippie day but i love you all and i will respond maybe not as quickly as i usually do to comments but i will respond to comments you guys mean an awful lot to me peace and cheers love and harmony